Government officials will be in the hot seat at the National Assembly. On day one, the ruling party's focus was rooting out corruption of the previous administration, while the opposition appeared all revved up to grill and criticize the current one. Kim min gets us up to speed with the four-day process. Rival political parties clashed on Monday as lawmakers questioned the government in the first interpolation session under the Moon administration. The ruling party used the opportunity to expose irregularities under the previous government, saying that the people's trust had fallen to new lows in the wake of a power abuse scandal that rattled the country. How are the task forces on eliminating corruption carrying out their duties? Such committees are up and running at 19 ministries. It's too early to make an assessment. But the Culture Ministry, which was the core of the scandal, is making progress, cutting the number of top-level posts. The opposition parties, however, said that the Moon administration was the biggest beneficiary of the corruption scandal, accusing it of pumping out costly populist policies to win support. They said rather now is the time to focus on boosting security, quizzing the prime minister on the government's North Korea policy and criticizing it for taking a back seat to other regional powers. How long are we going to neglect this crisis? The Moon government's North Korea policies need to be drastically revised. The government is stepping up sanctions and pressure. We're working closely with the international community, as well as boosting our own deterrence by deploying that and acquiring more powerful missiles. The prime minister, however, said that redeploying tactical weapons isn't being considered, saying that the government maintains the goal of a nuclear-free peninsula. The interpolation session will run until Thursday, covering various topics, including foreign affairs and defense, economic affairs and social issues. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.